Yes, I can describe a case. Um, let's say uh, a case with lumbar spine stenosis with some degenerative list stages. Shall we uh, fuse that case always or not? What is, what's your first impression? This, although I did not tell you anything about the clinic of the patient, can you tell, tell me something? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you should criticize. Actually, many times you also ha are having patients are asking you questions with WhatsApp messages, SMS messages, uh, sending the reports of their uh, radiologic images, and then asking what what will happen to me. What do you recommend? Without learning the symptoms and even. Uh, examination of the patient is quite difficult. Mm -hmm. If a patient has no back pain at all with degenerative listhesis, shall we consider uh, fusion surgery? We must think twice. It's, it's probably not. And most of the instances, I am currently not doing any uh, fusion surgery if there is no back pain at all. Even the, if there is significant uh, listhesis. So, I will start with this. So, uh, in general saying, the, uh, the lumbar spine stenosis patients are having a relative uh, uh, surgical indication because of neurogenic claudication only. Uh, absolute indication may be cauda equina syndrome or major motor deficit, not minor motor deficit. Minor motor deficits are not uh, absolute indication. Uh, but most of the time, you see the patient with neurogenic claudication only. And, and the aim of the surgery is to provide some comfort to the patient, not anything else. Uh, this male patient, very young male, 32 years old, uh, she came to me with urinary incontinence for five days and perianal sensory loss. But the, for this patient, it was a congenital canal narrowing. How do you understand if it is congenital or uh, degenerative? First of all, there is no pedicle at all. Very short pedicles or even no pedicle. This, this is the pedicle level, actually. There is almost no pedicle. Second, the, not only the AP diameter, but also the lateral diameter is narrow. This is also narrow. Not only the AP, also the lateral. This case is a, has an absolute indication for surgery because uh, cauda equina syndrome. Uh, what are the surgical techniques we can uh, offer for uh, lumbar spine stenosis. Well, first, decompression, open laminectomy or MIS techniques. Then decompression and fusion with pedicle screws, interbody fusions, non-instrumented fusion. There are some options, many options. Uh, for decompression, in the past, we, we were just doing to total laminectomy. We did not take care of the spinous process, interspinous ligaments, even the facet joints, we could, we could remove whatever we want. But then the fenestrations have started. We then call them small laminectomies uh, or hemipartial laminectomy. So we call them fenestrations. This is a good picture on AP view fenestrations, showing fenestrations, fenestrations, three levels. Then we started to do unilateral approach, bilateral decompression. This is new trend uh, to protect ligaments, facets, and to avoid instability. 
a part of the lamina is still there, uh, interspinous ligament and supraspinous ligament is still there, and then uh, only one facet may be distracted from your side, partially, but the other facet is not. So then we could have done that with microsurgery, then we, we started to do that with tube guided surgery. Actually, I told you something about uh, tube guided surgery in the morning. It could be done by endoscope or microscope. Uh, you can uh, angulate your view with the tube so that you can uh, approach two levels. Uh, and you can, uh, similar manner, you can approach uh, unilateral and bilateral. Uh, these are pre op and post op films. This is one of my days pre op and post op. Even four levels I, I am doing. This is L1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Four levels. And 78 years old male. And this is, yes, you can think that I could do that with a long incision, uh, but then muscle sparing will not happen. Then uh, this is postoperative films one month later, uh, and these are postoperative MR images of the same patient. This is before and this is after. It is possible. So this, this 78 years old male stayed in the surgery for three, three hours, uh, but then the next day I discharged the patient. These are the advantages, we, we also talked about them. Uh, uh, MIS decompositions are not superior to open decompositions in terms of clinical results. But the infection rate is less. To, to one large study, it is 10 times less than open surgeries. This is probably a very big advantage. And aggressive decompression, removing ligaments may result in iatrogenic instability, but there is no good study evidencing uh, that uh, the, uh, such surgery is causing less instability in the long term. There is no good study, no class one or two study in the literature. When fusion is necessary, to me it is if there is degenerative lysis and back pain, degenerative scoliosis and back pain, flat back syndrome and kyphosis, those cases may go to uh, fusion surgery. Uh, so we can call them lum complex lumbar spine stenosis. This is one of the flat back syndrome, typical flat back, uh, forward bending, anti-flexion posture. And uh, I asked this lady to make a, a posterior uh, uh, ponte type of osteotomy and posture fixation with interbody fusion. The compression option are that. Uh, the compression alone indications are if there are osteophytes and no movement in dynamic films, in degenerative stages, you can still think about the compression alone. Anterior is less than three millimeters or dynamic on dynamic radiograms. Significant loss of this space. This height is very low and young patient with multi-level congenital scoliosis and minimal sleep may also be candidates for uh, decompression alone in degenerative lysis. I will not tell you much about this. My friend, Dr. Mauricio, will tell you about that. Uh, there, there are some evidences, there are some uh, Large series, this is uh, from Epstein, 2016. Non-instrumented one to two level fusion is better than instrumented fusion, uh, she tells. Uh, 
uh, another one from 2015. The compassion plus fusion is not more effective than the compassion alone. And more importantly, this is from New England Journal of Medicine from 2016. Uh, they, they, they are saying that the, one of the most cited publication, the compression plus, plus fusion surgery did not result in better clinical outcomes than the compression surgery alone. This is also some very significant plus one evidence papers. Uh, this is... Uh, 2017, five studies, a meta-analysis. Uh, side effects of surgical groups are between 10 to 24%. Uh, they have decided that well-designed studies are necessary to get a better conclusion. Uh, and they say that the, the uh, incidence of complications are increasing with the age. In 21, 40 years uh, group, it is about major complication is six, but in the older group, it's 32%. Very high complication rate uh, in case of uh, application of fusion surgery. Uh, there is even some uh, uh, trials to, to implement a evaluation scoring Level one, decompression alone. Level four, four, four osteotomies added to specific deformities, such things. And uh, what, what are the uh, items you are looking for? Neurogenic claudication, back pain, anterosophytes, olisthesis, uh, cop angle, uh, lumbar kyphosis, pre presence of lumbar kyphosis, and global imbalance. This is from Lenke. In conclusion, our decision should be affected more with clinical symptoms than radiology. And no good correlation between radiology and symptoms, we must not forget this. Probably this is an algorithm I have uh, drawn myself. <laughs> Whether it is true, you can, you can urge. Uh, urge. Uh, if there is a uh, no back pain, you, you can think just the compassion alone. With back pain, if there is no instability, still think about injections, brains and exercises. If no benefit, you can apply the compassion and fusion. Uh, if there is significant radiological instability with back pain, you can think about the compassion and fusion. This is the algorithm I could draw from uh, my own experience. And in conclusion, uh, recent trend, unilateral approach, bilateral decompression uh, is popular surgery, and, but its value is not validated yet. MIS techniques for spine stenosis have significant advantages, and uh, we must try to learn and apply them. Thank you.